let's get it y'all let's go welcome back to chuck's daily hustle you guys already know what i need you to do and if you don't know now you're gonna know i need you guys to give me that thumbs up you guys if you guys are seeing this video and it's not already yet let's say a thousand likes right a thousand likes you guys i want you guys to go ahead and and hit that thumbs up button for you guys um and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell you guys hit that notification bell that way you know every single time that i post on youtube um whether it's me making an announcement on the news feed or me actually posting videos you guys and don't forget to go check out the links in the description um you do that by clicking like the little arrow that that goes down by the title and then you guys will be able to see like the equipment that I use. I got the links there. I got like free money, free stocks, free crypto, all types of stuff over there, you guys. You guys can check that out. Um, some free apps, you guys can get some free gas, uh, free gift cards. Like It's a lot of stuff that I actually use on a day to day. Um, and you guys most definitely check that out. And then also, man, if you guys are feeling like gracious, and you wanna actually be part of the La Familia, just not a part of Major Nation, but Major Nation plus the La Familia, go ahead and go over to Instagram. You guys follow me on Chuck's underscore daily hustle. Um, and then uh, that'll be greatly appreciated, man. We're like 47 people away right now from hitting that thousand mark on uh, Instagram. So that'll be gracious. Um, and yeah, man, it just feels good to be back on YouTube. Feels good to be back from that break, man. Um, but anyways, man, um, I wanted to start this video off. I don't know if this is going to be a vlog or how long this is going to go, but I decided I want to answer a Q&A question um, from the comments, you guys. And this one's going to be from Brent Byers. Um, Brent Byers, shout out to you, man. Um, Brent Byers has been like, like at least the first 100 people a part of the major nation. So he's been on my YouTube channel for like the first people he's like one of the first people to ever comment on any of my videos he's been rocking with me man and i do appreciate you man honestly and i appreciate everybody that's been a part of this journey man um we are going up man and that's the only way to go is in that direction all right um so anyways man uh the question is is how do i feel about carvana buying out odessa all right so let's just break this down first and foremost odessa you guys is a car dealer only auto auction when I say car dealer only auto auction for the people that are new to this channel, that means that only a licensed car dealer, right? A car dealership can go into these auctions and they can buy cars. So we go in there and I'm a licensed car dealer, you guys in the state of Minnesota. Um, we go into these auctions and we buy wholesale vehicles, right? So we buy cars that we need to refurbish or sometimes they don't need anything, but we get them ready to sell to the public. Only we have access to it, right? Carvana is a used car dealer, okay? They are a used car dealer, they're not a new car dealer. But what they did was, they came in, it was a genius idea. Um, if you guys are not, you uh, you guys are not familiar with Carvana. What they did is they came in and they said, well, we're gonna be basically licensed in all the states because they can sell in all the states, right? Um, and they were able to go into all these auctions, buy these vehicles, and then buy from retail uh, customers and then sell cars, right? So um, in every state, which is like dope, right? So basically they became the biggest car dealer. And I don't know if they're for sure, I haven't Googled it, but I'm pretty darn sure that they're the biggest used car dealer in, this, in the United States. They gotta be, right? So what just happened was, um, a, well, a little while ago, um, Carvana bought out Odessa, right? So the used car dealer, went and bought out an entire auction in the United States. I don't know about um, Odessa, Canada, but um, in Odessa, in the United States, they bought them out, man. So this, let's say that one more time. A used car dealer went in and they bought a entire auction, okay? Now, Odessa is like the number two uh, biggest um, auction in the United States. Mannheim, which is owned by Cox Automotive, is the biggest auction, all right? So, now, basically, Carvana just came in the game and put the foot on everybody's neck. So, again, nobody, nobody can compete with them. So, they are going to have so much influence, you guys, in the price of cars. It is going to be ridiculous, like ridiculous. So, let's just break this down real quick. So, let's say Carvana, let me give you an example. And um, Carvana, all right, so Carvana gets a request, right, on their on their platform. And somebody's looking for a 
$20,000 Chevy Impala, okay? Or if for the guys that wanna be kind of fun, let's do this. How about a $100,000 Lamborghini, okay? So somebody wants a $100,000 Lamborghini and they end up, uh, you know, reaching out to Carvana. Carvana owns Odessa. So what does Carvana see? They see that they have, in their auction, they have $500,000 Lamborghinis, right? Um, so normally what happens is a car dealer, like the selling car dealer, will run the car through the auction, and then they will say, um, they will say, hey, I want, you know, $110,000 for the, uh, this Lamborghini, right? So Carvana is going to have first dibs on these cars, right? So they'll be able to say, okay, well, they want $110,000, right? Or um, we can we can pay them one hundred ten right now, you know what I mean? Or they can say, okay, well, we're going to pay you guys the the hundred, or let's just say ninety because you want to leave some profit, right? So we, we'll pay you guys ninety grand, and they'll have first dibs to be able to to um, to cash out that that dealer. You get what I'm saying? They'll have a, a lot of negotiating power. They'll have like they got a whole force behind them, a whole auction behind them, so they can control the market. Okay, um, so that is going to be terrible. That's going to be terrible for anybody on the, you know, people that's selling a lot of cars, you know, on the high end and people that are going to sell cars on the bottom end because whatever um, happens on the top end is going to trickle down and vice versa when it comes in business, okay? So, um, if they control the market, it's, it's, it's going to be terrible, man. I, I'll just think, I'm thinking about it as me being a car dealer. If I own a car auction, I'm going to use all of my resources. Their car, I didn't just go into Odessa and then say, hey, I'm going to. We're buying a. Uh, we're buying this uh, auction just to take over and run it the same way. Hex, no. They came in saying, "Look, we about to position ourselves in this industry, and we want everything." So now, this is what leads me to this, right? So another thought is, I've been seeing like in the last like six to eight months, like these. Uh, at least in the state of Minnesota, probably in other states, you guys have been seeing a lot more. But Carvana's got all these like little tow trucks, these little small little tow trucks. And they're coming in, they're dropping cars, picking them up, dropping them off, picking them up. And I'm sitting here like, why? Like, Carvana's buying a lot of cars. Like, but I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. But I'm I'm on the platforms all the time, and I'm not seeing Carvana that much anymore. Now, um, if you guys have watched like some of my videos um, back when, um, where I do like my my price coverage or whatever, the uh, the online auction prices, and you will see Carvana bidding, you know, on cars as I'm as I'm uh, you know recording this. And so, um, anyways, um, I'm saying this to say that. Uh, well, I'm saying that to say this, I honestly believe that they're going to get ready to try to buy Manheim um, because they are like their tow trucks are in there like crazy, man. In there like crazy. And then they get like treated like royalty when they're coming in there. Like you should, man, like I'm looking like y'all not even like you're not asking them anything anymore. They just come in. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, I don't know, man. So um and if you guys are uh, car dealers, then you know Mannheim's real strict on their security policy and all that stuff. So I don't know, man. Uh, we will see if they do end up taking over uh, Mannheim, then they have the entire market cornered. Um, that's gonna be on. That's gonna suck, man. Like that's gonna make it so hard for any car dealer. It's gonna be ridiculous. Um, and from what I understand, there's no laws, you know, to keep them from like controlling the mark, the market. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. You know, we used to see, man, um, it kind of reminds me of that dude that, uh, what did he do? Uh, it was the guy that had the prescription, um, the, whatever, there's some prescription pills that people needed or they would die or whatever. And I think they were like, let's just say like 20 bucks a pill. And then he marked it up to like $1,500 a pill. You know what I mean? And the lawmakers and then, you know, they couldn't do anything at all because there was no law in place for him to corner the market like that. Um, but you know that is it kind of reminds me of that man and, and um we're gonna see what happens um right now you guys we're dealing with covid um the car prices are already high we're dealing with inflation um it's just bad man there's not that many cars out here um you guys have been like rocking with me rocking with me um i started actually started doing this channel when covid hit right so covid hit i said all right well i'm gonna start this youtube channel and we, we did it and there was a lot more cars and even then i said hey man these these this used to be full of cars y'all this would be crazy man and then it started dwindling down dwindling down dwindling down now i go out here man i mean we when I, let's just give y'all a good range for the people that are new i used to go out here man um and there would be like two thousand cars right um and a lot of them were like used older cars right 
like the thing i mean full like no space is left man um and now we go out there and it's like 1100 cars you know and only like five percent of them or ten percent of them is cars is less than than uh 10 grand you know what i mean so um it's it's, it's bad right now um the prices on the, even the higher stuff is crazy we're talking about you know my brother man we bought a um we, I forgot exactly how much we ended up paying, but I think we, it was like 2019. He got him a brand new Dodge Durango RT, you guys, um, with like 2,000 miles on it. It was, I think, I want to say we paid like 35K for it, um, something like that. And then um, now that same Durango is worth like 40,000 with like 50,000 more miles. So, you know, inflation is at the all time high, you guys. Um, inventory is at the all time low. Um, so we're dealing with a lot. Carvana got the game on, on you know, the foot, they had the foot on the neck, man. That's all I can say. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to just end this one with that one. We're going to do another Q&A um, just to give you all a heads up. Um, we're going to be doing a Q&A on uh, floor planning. All right. So um, I think that I was going to put that in the same video, but I'm going to give you all a lot of sauce when it comes to floor planning. Um, what I use, whether it's cash or floor planning why i'm gonna give y'all like all all the breakdown floor planning y'all for the new for the new people on this channel that means um basically you're borrowing money that's credit um in the car industry so i will be letting you guys know about that man i appreciate you guys like i always say man go ahead rock with me do that right now if you're rocking with me rocking with me go ahead and get that boy the thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button go check out the videos man i guarantee you, you're gonna like you're gonna like the channel you're gonna love the channel i'm out peace